what's going on welcome to another um just a really quick breakdown uh, i'm your host chandler and today is halloween and of course i don't have a costume or or a plan but i'm still gonna take my cousin trick-or-treating and i have two hours to get ready so like is this a live video of me completely just collapsing to the floor no because it's not live i'm gonna edit it but sort of a little bit yeah because you know i'm on a time crunch i don't know what you would call that um bad planning Really good adulting quality content? Absolutely not. Uh, so I have a, I have an idea, okay? I'm, I'm gonna make it look like I like burned uh, my face severely. Is my plan gonna work? I... Did they ever? We're here. We're here, we're drinking a protein shake and we're guzzling caffeine, so. Let's get started. For this look, I'm going to only do half of my head. So I'm going to try to apply a bald cap to only half of my head. Is that going to work? Um, theoretically. Theoretically, it could. I'm recycling the bald cap from the last thing I did, which was the American Horror Story look. So it has, you know, some purple on it, but we're just going to, we're going to, we're just going to not talk about it, okay? Um, so I guess... I'm gonna cut it in half and maybe use bobby pins to cover half of my hair. I don't know, I need a hairbrush. What am I doing? So I've been thinking about it for a long time and like what costume goes with this? I don't know. My two ideas were um, like either a mad scientist who blew up the lab or a biker that got like really bad road rash. So outfit wise, no idea what I'm going to wear. So... We'll see. I never know what outfit. I always create, like, a character uh, based off of the makeup that I feel like doing and then hope for the best. So, but I'm going to do the bald cap after, I think. I'm going to do my face first and then I'll deal with the bald cap after because worst case scenario, if I have to not do the bald cap, I'll just slick my hair back because I'm going to run out of time. So, um, there's a lot of different ways that you can create a burned face look. I'm using cotton and latex because it's the easiest way and like honestly you can't mess this up except for the fact that I almost just put the liquid latex directly on my eyebrow which would have been really stupid don't put it in your hair it hurts so bad you also don't want to get it too close to your eye look at it as I say that and then put it directly in my hair I'm the best um, normally I might even just put something right over the top of my eye and just get rid of it. But because I'm going trick-or-treating, as an adult, as, as a whole adult, um, I want to be able to see, like, if there's cars and stuff. Especially since I'm watching my cousin. So, definitely don't, uh, want to not be able to see. But I think I'm just gonna, like glue this down over the over my eyebrow you know don't feel like blocking it out it be like that sometimes sis so I'm just putting down the latex taking cotton balls unrolling them and just like ripping little pieces out then I'm gonna go over the top of the cotton with more liquid latex to seal it down and then when it's drying I'll move on to the next step so here I'm gonna put the latex underneath my eyebrow pretty close to my eye as you're not supposed to do because I'm really good at being safe. That was sarcasm, if you could not tell. And just make sure that the cotton is fully covering my eyebrow. Because I am going to put liquid latex over it. Which means it's going to end up in my eyebrow. Which means I'm going to end up without an eyebrow. Um, You can do what you feel. And like not rip out your eyebrow. You know, if you really like your eyebrows and stuff. I really like my eye... I like having eyebrows. Mine aren't, you know, good, but I like having them. But also, I like a really coherent look where I just completely rip my eyebrow off. like look like a furry I'm kind of here for it 
Hi, maybe you're starting to recognize this look as trash, or maybe you've seen it in my first video thumbnail. I don't know. I don't know what you're up to. Maybe you just accidentally fell upon this channel, and I'm sorry that this had to be the first video you saw. Well, actually, I'm sorry you had to see any of them. Petition to have my channel removed. Anyways, uh, what's next? I guess, I guess we're gonna paint next. I don't know. I I'm not a professional. Why are you even here? I don't know. Reevaluate your life upstairs am i using them no absolutely not why would i do that when the halloween store gives you these little terrible ones that you can use just as ineffectively who even is ulta i've never even met her uh i'm gonna go in no this isn't what i wanted to do sponge i'm gonna cover the whole thing in red yep we're <laughs> yep this is what we're doing welcome Update on me. A couple of things. One, I should have put um, the ball cap on first so I could cover the seam with the cotton balls. You're absolutely right. I should have done that. Um, it's too late now. I, I already committed. I might just like give up on the bald cap because I really don't want to have to cut a perfectly good bald cap in half. Because later, if I need a bald cap, I don't want to have to buy another one. You know what I'm saying? I just got paint on good leggings. I hate myself. Um, second, I should have powdered the cotton and latex before I tried to paint because what's happening is the sponge is catching on the latex and it's not getting in so you can still see some of the white of the cotton balls. Um, potentially fixable, potentially not. We'll see when we get there, but like goodbye my eyebrow. It's literally, it's messed up y'all. My eyebrow's gone. Also, you may have noticed I used the dirty sponge and so there is purple from the last makeup tutorial that I used that sponge and yeah, that's not what I intended. But, uh, sometimes your flesh is, like, purpley colored when it gets bruised or mauled. So, you know, it, it might work. We'll see. Eventually, if it's really bad, we'll just cover everything in blood. It's a no-brainer. You can cover anything with fake blood and it'll look fine. Also, I didn't close those so everything's flared up and awful. Yes. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Uh... You don't have to stay. I, I understand if you don't. I'm going to go in with some black paint now and try to make depth. Uh, I'm probably going to cut like some holes. Not in my actual face. With scissors to cut the cotton up. I wouldn't recommend putting scissors to your face. Um, but I also wouldn't recommend watching these videos. So, you know. Here's a little check-in. Um, is it amazing? No. Last time I did it, I hated it at this point too. So now we're going to add blood because what I have found in my life is that adding fake blood to any makeup look you do will save it. Why is my blood like hardened? Thank you. So I'm putting the blood in the face holes, if you will. Literally, just take handfuls of coffee grounds and smush it all over your face. Smells really good. Makes your parents angry. This emulates like dirt and grit. Should have done it before I did all the blood because now I just got blood in my hand.
Ooh, should have done the Vaseline first so it would stick better. I'm really good at special effects. Thank you for coming to my channel and watching. There's so much coffee on my lap now. I'm taking a stippling sponge and just like going in with the glycerin. Um, this is just to make you look, you know, moist. Typically you'd use Vaseline because uh, glycerin is actually like a lotion type deal. It's like hydrating. So I think it's going to dry on skin. I don't know that it'll dry on latex because it can't like absorb. I don't know. It either will or won't. I'll let you know how it goes later in the evening. Obviously if... I no longer look moist. It dried. It's like swallowed so much glycerin. That's probably not good. Okay, now I'm going to do all that also um, to my neck for being cohesive. So anyways, it's time for a montage.